Welcome to the Brown Bag Podcast. This short podcast is about the work of Dr. John Romig, Assistant Professor of Curriculum and Instruction at the University of Texas at Arlington. Views expressed in this podcast are the perspectives of individual faculty. On December 12th, we will hear more about Dr. Romig's work on the topic of how should we monitor the progress of struggling writers. His abstract he shared with us is as follows. Progress monitoring is both a legally required and educationally effective practice in special education. However, research and progress monitoring of writing has lagged behind other literacy areas. This presentation will present a line of research examining the validity and utility of brief progress monitoring measures of written language. Special emphasis will be given to future directions and technological innovations that can overcome barriers to effective writing assessment. So Dr. Romig, thanks so much for sharing today. And first off, can you tell us a bit about your topic in general? Sure, I'm interested in writing instruction and writing assessment for students with disabilities. Lots of people struggle with writing. Uh, it's a very complex area. It's a difficult skill. Uh, it's, it's not uncommon to hear adults talk about how difficult writing is for them. But for students with disabilities, uh, writing can be even more difficult than it is for those without disabilities. And so I'm interested in trying to help students with disabilities improve their writing performance through a combination of assessment and instruction. My presentation will focus on something called progress monitoring, and progress monitoring really is a combination of both assessment and instruction. What progress monitoring does is it collects frequent assessments from students, and then it provides teachers with a decision-making framework for how to look at that data and determine if an instructional change is necessary and when to make instructional changes. So this, this process of progress monitoring has been effective in the areas of reading and mathematics and students' behavior, but we don't have a lot of evidence to say that it's effective in improving writing outcomes. And so my research is interested in, can we use progress monitoring with students' writing to improve their performance? Another reason why I'm interested in progress monitoring is because uh, progress monitoring is actually required by federal law for students with disabilities. Schools are required to collect progress monitoring data and report students' progress to parents at certain intervals throughout the year. So if we're required to do this process anyway, we're required to collect this progress monitoring data, why not do it in a way that's also educationally effective and meaningful for students in addition to meeting the legal requirements? And so I will talk about some of the uh, limitations to progress monitoring and why it's been more difficult in writing than it has been in other areas. Um, and some of the plans that I hope to, to bring to um, overcoming some of these barriers to progress monitoring in writing. Thanks so much for sharing about your background. And our second question is, what got you interested in studying students who face challenges in writing? I was a high school special education teacher and, and my experience there really emphasized how important writing was to student success. Students use writing not only to learn new information but also to demonstrate the, their understanding of uh, concepts in a wide variety of areas, social studies, science, math, reading. and so. Uh, I just saw how important it was for student success. They, they, they had a really hard time um, doing well in their classes if they couldn't write well. But as a special ed teacher, I also had a group of students who were not um, looking for or, or trying to earn a state diploma. They were more focused on occupational goals uh, and getting employment. And so for these students, their writing was also extremely important. They needed to be able to fill out job applications, answer questions clearly in writing, communicate uh, with, with potential employers through writing. And so their job uh, opportunities were really limited if they couldn't write clearly. And um, so my experience there as a, as a teacher 
um, really showed me how important writing is for student success in a wide variety of areas. I also saw the positive effect that good instruction can have on students' writing. Writing is very difficult, it's very complex and challenging, but I did see that it can be improved through good instruction. And, and when I thought about what is that good instruction, what, it, what is it that I want um, to specialize in and just really hone in on, progress monitoring was near the top of the list uh, and because of how effective it can be um, to improve uh, students' writing. Thanks so much for sharing about your interest and the origins of this study. Is there anything else you want to share with us about your research focus or the topic of progress monitoring? Yeah, there's a couple things that I want to say about progress monitoring. One is that when I talk about progress monitoring, I'm talking about something that is actually very different from the types of assessments that we currently see in schools most often. Uh, a lot of times when I talk about assessments, um, people sort of um, roll their eyes and, and think that it's just another end of the year test or it's another, you know, um, it's another uh, one of these assessments that's not really connected to student learning, it's not really connected to um, students' instruction in a meaningful way, and um, we, you hear complaints about teachers teaching to the test or that these tests are being used to judge the effectiveness of teachers. Um, and that's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm talking about something that can be incorporated in a teacher's daily or weekly routine and that can be uh, really meaningfully connected to the, the teacher's instruction and in guiding the instruction and what changes or, or no changes should be made. The other thing that I want to say is that this is not a complicated process. Uh, its simplicity is actually something that um, is appealing to me and, and draws me to it. And so with a, a, a sort of a basic amount of professional development or training and a few resources, any teacher can implement progress monitoring in their classroom. And so my research is um, looking into how can we make this process accessible to teachers at a, a large scale. And so I'm uh, excited about talking about this at um, the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm uh, looking forward to sharing my research with colleagues and students there, and if you're not able to make it, I hope you can uh, watch the recording. And uh, I'm also really excited uh, just for the opportunity that um, UTA and the Brown Bag uh, Lunch Series gave me uh, to present my research, and, and I hope you all enjoy it. Great. Thanks so much, Dr. Romig, for all the information about your current research interests. The Curriculum and Instruction Brown Bag Seminar Series at UT Arlington will showcase faculty research from the department from a variety of topics and methodologies, so we hope you can join us at the next Brown Bag.